What are you doing? Good morning. Why are you tearing up that Christmas card? So. Yes, it is. It's not a threat on your life, isn't it? It's not a threat, isn't it? I don't want you to worry about it. Well, how come you're so worried about it? You won't tell me what it says. Anna, please just forget it. No. It's another threat to Robin and me if you turn state's evidence, right? People in the mob never give up. But we're well protected. How do you know that? The judge says that he'll give you an extension. He'll wait until after the holidays to talk to you. I won't testify against the I want you to mob. think about it, please. There is nothing to think about. How can you say that? Our future depends on it. If you don't testify, you're going to go to prison. Then I'll go to prison. What are you going to tell Robin? She thinks we're still getting married. I don't know. She came with me to the hospital today. She's going to want to see you. Where is she? Upstairs with the children in pediatrics. Yes. Good morning. Hello. How are you feeling, Duke? Much better, thank you, Dr. Honey. Donna, I hate to interrupt, but I have something important to discuss. Well, what is it? Ted Holmes is dead. His body was discovered in his room here early this morning. What happened? I just got the results of the autopsy. I'm afraid it's police business. Excuse me. Frisco Jones. It's Anna. I want you at General Hospital right away. What is it? Is it Duke? No, it's Ted Holmes. He's been murdered. According to the autopsy, someone held a pillow over Ted's head until he was dead. Who would do such a horrible thing? I don't know, Steve. But we'll find out. I'm very worried about the other patients. When they find out what's happened, they're going to be very frightened. Oh, I don't want you to worry about that. We'll have plain clothes police put on every floor until we find out who did this. I really shouldn't worry. Anna, it was Briscoe when you called. No. Ted Holmes is dead? What happened? Briscoe said he was murdered. Yes, I'm sorry to say. How did it happen? According to the autopsy, it was suffocation, evidently. Uh, do you excuse us, please? I want to speak to you, Briscoe. When did it happen? Sometime last night. One of you found him this morning. Anybody see anything? Anybody know anything? I haven't had a chance to talk to anyone yet. But it's not my job. It's your job. This is your first case as a detective. I'm assigning you to it. Now, I suggest that you talk to every member of the staff. I'm going to call headquarters and get forensics onto this case. And I want you to tell Steve that we're sealing up Ted's room. Go to it. Right. Thank you. I'm sorry I took so long. Oh, I know you have work to do. Don't feel as if you have to spend all your time here with me. Are you giving the, the case to Frisco? Give it to Frisco? Yes. I think he can handle it. He's only just become a detective. I think he can handle it. I, I, I've got a question I want to ask you. About Ted Holmes? Mm. Do you think that his death is due to the fact he was involved with the Fisherman's Village? I've been thinking about that. I really don't believe there's any reason why anyone would go after Ted. His deal with Phil was legitimate. Mm. I thought that too. I had to ask there. Yeah. Ted was murdered right here in the hospital. It just brings home how vulnerable we all are. You're well protected here, night and day. Oh, I'm not worried about myself. How can we have a future together unless I know you and Robin are very well protected? You don't see a future for us at all, do you? Anna. The Christmas card I tore up was another threat. I don't want it to spoil Robin's Christmas, though. Why don't you promise me no more talk about the future until after the holidays? I want this to be a very special Christmas. It's going to be... It's going to be our first Christmas together. Hi, Uncle Duke. Hi, Mommy. <laughs> Good darling. Hey. I hear you were up in pediatrics cheering up the children. I was, and guess what? What? 
Bobby asked me if I could lead the children in the Christmas parade. Can I, Mommy? Well... Can I? I hear that's quite an honor, is it? It is, yes. Can I, please? <laughs> may I? May I? And yes, you may, darling. I will be very proud to watch you lead the parade. You can watch me too, Uncle Duke. I promise I will. This is going to be the best Christmas ever. I better go tell Bobby. I can't wait for Christmas Day because we're going to go to every single floor in the hospital and play and sing Christmas carols. Just like last year. Yes, but this time I get to lead the parade and I'm going to wear my kilt and Bobby said I could play my bagpipes if I want to. Oh dear. Bagpipes for Christmas. I've been practicing, Uncle Duke, and I'm getting better and better all the time, right, Mommy? Well, yes, you've improved tremendously, darling, but uh, I don't know really if, if um, bagpipes are appropriate. Why not? Why don't you ask Uncle Duke? Why not, Uncle Duke? Well, bagpipes are very, very special. I mean, they're, uh, they're, they're lovely, but I, I haven't had the time to teach you uh, Christmas carols. Do you, you have to don't you have to play... Christmas music for Christmas, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely right. Well, I guess maybe I shouldn't play my bagpipes this year. No, maybe not. But I have to start practicing for next Christmas. And I have to practice for the wedding, too. Well, that's gonna... That'll take a lot of practice. Yes, it will. Because I want the music to be as pretty as the music at Frisco and Felicia's way. I said I'd pick her up soon. She's in quite a state about Christmas, isn't she? Yeah. It breaks my heart when she keeps talking about us being together. Oh, Anna. Can you smile? Can you just pretend for Robin? Yeah. I can pretend when I'm with her doesn't stop me thinking about what we're facing. Are you promised? No more talk about the future until after the holidays. These memories are going to be very, very important for all of us. I wish I'd met you in Scotland years ago. Why? It's a dream we had over. Of you, me, and Robin in Scotland. I don't know. All I know is now we have to live each moment by moment. 